my name is Walter Skoll and I grew up in New York for 18 years and uh, this is the grave of my father Robert Skold. and I'm here because today is the last day of a 70 day journey I've made all over the south uh, to the graves of poets I've been to 97 poets graves in those days and while my father wasn't a poet I came here because my grave is going to be right a few yards down and I am a poet so it's a future poet's grave I like live poets better than dead ones, by the way, but also because um, my father really supported me in my project and blessed me about being a poet, and uh, I felt it would be a great way to end my journey to come back and visit his grave and pour some cognac on it, which represents a libation on someone's sacred space that you love, and uh, this, this cognac was started at Poe's grave two months ago, and I poured it on graves all over the south, so... And um, this, this is uh, Papa Bear, and after my father died in 2007, uh, this was in his room, and I got it, and uh, I've always taken it on my journeys just to remind me of what a wonderful man he was and how blessed I was. And then this is my, mm, my new friend Raven, and she's been with me on this tour. Uh, Raven likes to get out of Dedgar the Pomobile, where I've lived off and on for a year over the last six years. So I started at Robert Frost's grave um, like eight years ago, and then it turned into a, an obsession, obviously. And what I love about it is, of course, I visit the really famous ones, the Jack Kerouacs, the Frost, the Poe, the Ginsburg. Marion Moore is buried in Gettysburg. I was there this morning. Um, and other, other famous poets' names. If you were to name the poet, I bet you I've been to their grave. In the future, I am going to go back to Freeport, Maine, and... Um, figure out how to get funding for an editor for my movie. I'm making a film of this six-year journey. I'm also writing a book, so I'll be writing during the miserable Maine winter and keeping myself busy uh, working on trying to get an editor for my film.